I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been sitting here doing different intros for this video for the last like 10 minutes. And screw it, I'm just gonna say it. Hey everyone, Conrad here. And I'm back. That was good, that was good. First of all, thank you so much for watching the GCB show. We worked medium hard on it. And if you have not watched the GCB show, first of all, where have you been? Second of all, go watch it. Again, we worked medium hard on it. From the first, first of all, Second of all, I was planning on, while I was posting the GCB show, kind of filming a bunch of other videos and kind of making it so I could go on an even longer break, stock, stocking up on some videos, but then I got sick right when school got canceled because of COVID-19. I contracted some random no-name virus and got a fever for a few days. Couldn't do anything, and then I've had a cough for like two weeks. I mean, what the heck is on the, this planet? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all this negative energy I've been releasing. <sighs> so anyway, while you're here, you wanna see facts about orangutans, just like everybody else. So let's start this Google Apes. Now this is my second ever Google Apes. I just gotta set it up on my computer real quick. If you didn't know, this is a series where I, I perform a Google slideshow about apes in front of my green screen that I got when I was like 10 years old. Who's ready for Google Apes? Orangutans? <laughs> Orangutans by Connie Johnny. Okay, this is really funny. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Why do orangutans, what, are their hair is orange? Why? For the sun, does it reflect off of it and that's why? Yes! Okay, now, now listen up. There are three species of orangutans, not counting subspecies. The year is 1996. You're watching Spy Hard and listening to I Love You Always Forever, whereas the scientists of the world are discovering the fact that there are two species of orangutans, and that includes the Bornean orangutan and the Sumatran orangutan. A bunch of years pass, and it becomes 2017, when a third species of orangutan is discovered to have been there. And that species was the Tapanuli orangutan. Now, there are currently three species of orangutans that we know of. First up... Look at how handsome that Sumatran orangutan man is. A lot of questions that I have about these. And one of the questions is, where do they live? Well, I'll tell you, they live on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, only in the dense northern tropical rainforests. Something interesting about Sumatran orangutans is that unlike chimps and gorillas, it would be rare to find a Sumatran orangutan walking around on the forest floor. Here's why. They are the largest arboreal animal in the world? Yes. Now here's what arboreal means. They live in the trees. Their diet is good sounding for the most part. Now you can see my arms. It's 90% fruit. Durians, lychees, and mangoes. And 10% other foods, such as termites, honey, and bird eggs. <laughs> they never drink water because all of the fruit that they eat covers their need for water. One of their only social occasions is eating figs together. So their figs are like our turkeys. Now the weight chart. Competition between orangutans, Sumatran ones, and humans. Now I abbreviated Sumatran orangutan into Sumagotan, which sounds like a really cool name for a person. Sumagotans weigh 99 pounds. Uh, females, on an average. And a human woman, on average, weighs approximately 170 pounds. Females are an average of, in height of, 3 foot 7 on the Sumagutan side, and then we freaking crush them with a whopping 5 foot 4! Now, the Sumagutan male, it weighs an, an average of 200 pounds? What a freaking fatty! A human male weighs Less? They weigh 197.6 pounds. Mmm! In your face! Let's talk about height. Sumagutans are an average of 4 foot 6, 
Whereas a human man, five foot six, which wins again. So overall, we are better than them. Also, we freaking destroy their habitat, so. That one's a male and that one's a female. My voice is getting hoarse already because I'm uh, still a little bit coffee. That's already a word. <laughs> they live up to 70 years in captivity, but in the wild, they live 30 to 40 years if something doesn't kill them. Now let's go see what kills them. The main predators of orangutans in general, not just Sumatran ones, are Sumatran tigers, clouded leopards, and crocodiles. Next orangutan. Yep, it's the goofy one, the Bornean orangutan. Here's a fun fact. They reside in Borneo. That's where all the cool animals live. Basically, what happened for this, for the, the research of this video was that a lot of the uh, things that I said about Sumatran orang orangutans also apply to Bornean orangutans and Tapanuli orangutans, so the presentations about them are much, much shorter, but here's some things. Uh, their diet is essentially the same as the Sumatran orangutans, uh, but you get to see some goofy pictures of Bornean ones. Check out that guy. Something interesting about all orangutans is tool use. Not a lot of animals can employ this ability. And this one is seen spearfishing because it saw local humans spearfishing and it decided to try it out for itself. Oh, more tool use? Who would have known it? Me, I made the presentation. Now this is a behavior that they learn from their parents. They fish for ants in trees or in the ground using sticks. Then they quickly slide their mouths along the stick in this motion <sighs> to get the ants off. Pa! Here's a, a picture of that. Do you guys remember Gibbon throat sacks? Well, orangutans have them too. That's its throat sack. Here's another contest between humans and this time it's Borneagutans. Borneagutans weigh and average the females of 110 pounds. So Borneagutans got us beat in that regard. In height, Borneagutans are only two foot six, which is far shorter than our five foot four girls. Get smoked! Now the average male Borneagutan actually weighs 165 pounds, which defeats us maliciously with our 179, 177, 197.6. Oh, I need some water. Now in height, we actually, again, we beat them. They're only four foot six and we're five foot six, which I'm actually five foot seven, I checked yesterday. And now, the last orangutan. And the most recently discovered orangutan. The Tapanuli orangutan. These beautiful creatures are actually the rarest great ape on earth because all orangutans really are going extinct extremely fast due to habitat loss and poaching and um, illegal pet stealing. And that just makes me want to go, ah, oh no. Now I'm going to be like Abe and speak from my honest heart. I got tired of making a Google slideshow about orangutans. And I know I could have come back to it another day, hit it with some new other day Conrad rigor. But then I thought back to the GCB show and how music was destroyed. Spoiler alert. And well, to be frank on you, I just want to make music. And I don't live in the universe that Clout Red lives in. So I can. And I know what you're thinking. Conrad, did you really just say that there's a multiverse theory within the GCB show universe and that just takes place in a different universe than the one we live in? And yes, I did. And I know the next thing that you're thinking. Conrad, how do you get the videos to edit them when Clout Red sends them to you? Our interdimensional data teleporter. I digress. Anyhow, I digress. This is a song for my orangutan girl. It is not a song for my orangutan girl. It is a song about saving the orangutans. Okay, now listen to it. Hey, yeah, me and my family. We were living it up in the Bornean sun where the hornbills soared the sky. There were no thoughts in my head except for dinner tonight and that was almost always gonna be me and my brother We would wrecky our orange bones To the dip tarot card forests We would fish for ants with our ant fish sticks And we would eat the ants like this 
Now let's swing back home to our jungle nest Where we sometimes make a roof And let's think about how we get our daily water needs From a copious amount of fruit Life is so awesome cause I got you bro Gosh this cold is gonna be so dope But then my brother was illegally shot by a big bad poacher Who sold his parts on the black market This is a wake up call my brother is dead, and my species is dying Due to habitat loss, our populations dwindle And remember, we're emotionally complex Similar to you, and we're born with the ability to reason We're sentient beings and we deserve respect And the universal right to life So stop killing us Thank you guys for listening to the song. I hope it was good. I wouldn't know, I haven't made it yet. But I'm gonna guess that you enjoyed it to the degree in which you would want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So just go down there and press that little button. And while you're down there, maybe you can fiddle around with a like button in such a way that it ends up being liked. Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.